Hello everybody and welcome back to RuneScape. Today we are going to be doing the Eagle's Peak quest, which was one of the first quests to ever come out that actually required Hunter. It might have been the first, honestly. But first, let's go ahead and take care of this real quick. Oh right, we were supposed to be doing this. Whoops. Oh well. Dang it. Dang it, I actually wouldn't have minded getting that flaming hat, hat thing. But wait, was that a purple one or an orange one or a red one? I don't know. What's this? Oh my gosh, why does it keep giving me that crap? Rare item tokens. Those things are so hard to get. I've not gotten those yet, honestly. Maybe I'll go for that. Rare item tokens. I probably It's probably not enough, honestly. But we're running out of time, and I don't know for sure that we'll get anything better. So let's go ahead... Is that... yeah, okay, where is it? There it is. Okay, and... We just lost a whole bunch of stuff, but... We got rare item tokens, which I believe we should already have some in the bank, so I'll toss those in the bank real quick, and... That is it for our use of this, so let's just go ahead and do this. And do that, because apparently... oh, I'm done. I wish it would go away, right? Whatever. Uh, construction for that. I'm going to toss this, I think, into uh, farming, actually. Be a bit different. I don't think I've been doing farming, at least. Hey, look at that! Farming 57. We haven't even done anything. And we can already plant papaya trees. Now, I just want to glance at these rare item tokens, so let's see if I already had some. No, I did not, sadly. Oh, well. I thought they handed them out, but I guess not. Yeah, you can buy stuff... It's all sold out. Yeah, you need 4,000 to get much of anything, sadly. 7k for that. Oh, it's ridiculous. And then, yeah, 1k for the random limited rare. So, yeah, we're a step closer to that, but we're not there yet. I've already gotten the quest items, as you can see here, so we're good on that. And I believe this quest actually begins in the zoo over in Arduin. So we'll head on over there and see what there is to see be pretty great, I think. Don't need to recharge my prayer. Okay. I think we have to talk to good old Charlie the zookeeper. If I read the thing correctly, which I probably did. So this week's update was um the light quest. The light within, I think. Is this Charlie here? No, that's Larry. You're a penguin keeper. You're a zookeeper. Where's Charlie? Where have you taken Charlie? Monkey Minder. Man, this... You know, I think it kind of, um... It kind of gets a bit awkward when you have stuff that needs to wear clothing in your zoo. It's like, maybe it's not actually something you should be keeping in a zoo. Just saying. Whatever. Where is this Charlie guy? He's, he should be here somewhere, right? Monkey Minder again. Is that Charlie? No. Well, where is he? I'm pretty sure... There he is. I thought he was in here. Okay, Charlie. Hi! Yes, er, welcome to the zoo. I'm afraid I'm kind of busy right now. What was it you wanted? Ah, uh, you sound like someone who needs a quest doing. Or done. Whatever. English. Actually, now that you come to mention it, you might be able to help me. A few weeks ago, we had a delivery of a northern ferret. They're funny little creatures. Turns out they're tricksy little blighters, too. Whilst we were unloading him from the cart, he managed to escape his cage. What's more, he gave the driver a nasty nip on his way out, too. This was obviously a bit of a blow. You can't make a new attraction without any animals. We got in contact with one of our associates, a huntsman called Nikolas, who agreed to capture us another. Funny thing is, we haven't heard from him for some time now. I don't suppose you'd mind having a look for him. Uh, sure. Any idea where I should start looking? Well, the Northern Ferret is mostly found around the mountains, just west of the Gnome Stronghold, so that would probably be as good a place as any to start looking. Okay, thanks. This quest was a lot longer back in the day, just due to the lack of ways to get over here. But now we can just do a quick home teleport over to Eagle's Peak, no problem. A million hours saved in time. So yeah, I, I should have known he'd be standing near the ferret cage. Whatever. I actually was really happy when this quest came out, I remember, because it added the rabbit's foot, 
which was pretty nice. And it was also a use for the hunter, which I had trained like crazy. So it was all a very good thing. But uh, back to what I was saying, yeah, within the uh, light within, yeah, it came out. It apparently has really high level rewards, you know, the new spells and prayers for Saren. I don't know, would those appear? Well, no, they wouldn't because I'm on the regular spell books. Whatever. So I think we were supposed to go here. I don't know. I'm not reading a guide yet, but okay. Seems to be something poking out. What do we got? Bird book. A small metal feather, huh? Okay. Well, we have a metal feather now. Well, we got in here. Giant eagle. Hmm. I wonder if that has anything to do with this quest. Who knows? Who knows? Okay. Okay. We need to go up the mountain, I guess. Where's the way up the mountain? Right here? Isn't there? Yeah, there it is. I think you actually need an agility level to do this, but you can also go the long way around. It just takes more time. And then we apparently do this. Oh, look at that. There's a giant eagle right there. I mean, he's not that huge, but he's definitely fairly large. Full grown, at least. Okay, enter the cave. Here we are. We're in Where Eagles Lair. That doesn't seem like right English. Whatever. Look at that. We got a journal with feathers on it, apparently. He needs to go... He needs to quit getting feathers on everything, I think. Okay. Wait, a raid on the Gnome Stronghold? What's he talking about? Maybe... This is not him, is it? His name was Nicholas. So, we got some sort of thing here. That I'm not going to read, as usual, but I will scroll through it. So that somebody could theoretically pause. Okay, we have feathers lying around, apparently. I do know that we need these. I believe. Oh, we can just keep picking them up. Hey, look at that. Oh. Oh, well, okay. Hi, Nicholas. Hello, or excuse me. Oh, I'm, I'm leaving, apparently. I don't care about you. I'll be back after I get my ten feathers, okay? Okay, hopefully I didn't glitch it up. Um. Okay, well, I think we just missed a cutscene. Ah, there we go. Hello, are you Nicholas? Aha, I see my reputation precedes me. Yes, I am the renowned hunter and explorer Nicholas. You have arrived just in time to witness a very momentous occasion, where I have just discovered the nest of a giant eagle. And a most amazing discovery it is, too, even if I do say so myself. Um, I'll say this one. Oh, but I'd come to rescue you. How very kind of you, but Nicholas Ferrick never needs rescuing. I may apparently be trapped in a giant eagle's nest, but it is all a cunning ruse to put the beast at ease. Um, oh, so you're not really trapped? Well, I think trapped is quite a negative way of looking at it. I will admit, however, that getting out of here may be a little tricky. I did have a plan, but unfortunately it didn't involve being stuck in this nest. Um, could I help at all? Actually, I believe you could. I need to somehow trick the eagles into thinking I'm one of them. Could you fashion some sort of disguise for me? What would that involve? Well, you could go and speak to the fancy dress shop owner in Varrock. He can make anything if you give him the right materials. In fact, you should probably get a couple of disguises, one for each of us. That's a good idea. There are plenty of feathers around here. I'll see what I can do. Okay, so I guess we have to go over to the fancy dress place. But I think that we're fine. We've got all the stuff. Okay, yeah. I'm going to make sure I don't leave this place and find out I'm missing something. Uh, the other updates this week, though, I keep getting interrupted by quests. How rude. But apparently you can have multiple action bars, like up to four now, but I'm not going to mess with that yet. I'm not particularly excited by that update. And I think there was a bit more, but I don't remember it. I haven't actually tested out any of this stuff like I normally do. Because I've been busy. I actually took the weekend off from working on things and played games. Like all day long for the first time in quite a while. It was fun. Okay, you're. are you the fancy dress shop? No, you're the regular dress shop, aren't you? Fancy dress is the one in the corner. I believe. Well, obviously there was a whole bunch of patch notes this week, but yeah, we're not going to go through them. It's, there was nothing like standing out as amazing. 
Oh, there is group bossing and stuff for Ironman accounts. That was it. And also, they can finally earn the completionist cape, I think. And the last few songs that were unobtainable are now obtainable through special means or something. Ooh, shiny. Okay, fancy guy. I guess we'll just talk to him. Now, you look like someone who goes to a lot of fancy dress parties. Er, what are you saying exactly? I'm just saying that perhaps you would like to spend money on me, right? No, that's what he meant. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna read this crap. Okay, what do we got here? Well, specifically, I'm after a couple of bird costumes. Ah, an inspired choice. What kind of bird were you thinking of? A giant eagle. Very interesting. Unfortunately, I don't think I have any giant eagle costumes in stock at the moment. Of course, if I had the materials, I could make them for you. What materials would you need? Well, the main problem is that I'm fresh out of giant eagle feathers. I've been meaning to get on to my supplier about that for some time. Because I'm sure he's always had that, right? Wait a second, you have a supplier? But I thought nobody knew where to find the nests. Well, there was some chap in desert clothing. He said his name was Ali. He assured me they were giant eagle feathers, although when I come to think about it, they were suspiciously similar to chicken feathers. Anyway, you're probably looking at about 10 giant eagle feathers, assuming you can find a nest. I also need some swamp tar to hold things together and some yellow dye for the beaks. Everything else I can supply myself. I'll see what I can do, and I've already done it. Okay, yes, the same exact conversation we've already had. I've got the feathers and materials you requested. Can you make those giant eagle costumes for me now? Certainly, it'll cost you 50 gold pieces. Okay, here are the materials. Eagle me up. There we go, two eagle costumes. You should be the envy of the entire party with those. Thanks. And there we go, so I'll go ahead and put mine on. Oh yeah, I look so eagle-like now that I have a cape and a beak. I, those eagles are so stupid, they won't know the difference. Obviously. Okay, let's head back to Eagle's Peak, though, and we gotta somehow... I guess we'll probably be able to sneak past the eagle now, because we are very disguised. It would have been kind of fun if they'd given you an emote or something to act like an eagle for this quest. But they did not. I guess there is the flap one, but that's not related to the quest at all. We'll take the long way this time, just to be different, and because it's right near the lodestone. So it's not actually that much longer in this case. You would think that somebody would have bothered to look on Eagle's Peak for a giant eagle. You know, like... There's a giant hole on the peak right there where the eagle comes out. you think someone would have noticed. It's not like it's that big of a mountain, but whatever. Let's go ahead and go inside this weird secret cave entrance. Okay, I guess we'll go sneak around then. I do wonder what happens. I, I remember something happening if you tried to come through without your disguise, but I don't think it's anything major. And where did these caves leave, I wonder? Hmm. Who knows? Oh, we got a door here. How do we open that? Okay, an eagle, three of the feathers. Okay, well that sucks. Um, I think I remember there being a thing that we needed to do. Right. West of the eagle door is a tunnel. Right, okay, actually I need to go apparently... Apparently you're not even required to talk to this guy. You're just supposed to figure out there's a puzzle to do and then do it. Now maybe it was in one of the books. I don't know. Who cares, but let's go in here. Okay, what do we got here? What is this thing? A feather! Yay! Oh no, I've been tricked. Now what? Okay. Um... I guess we operate this one as well. So what's the trick here? Um, all the winches. Okay, I see now. I didn't see these two over here. And that was the problem. Yay, we did it! We broke it! Hooray! Okay, so we've got a feather now. A bronze feather. I guess we want to go in the other caves now? I don't know. Yeah, we'll just do that and hope that it's the right thing to do. That is trial and error at its finest. Ooh, gosh. There is a lot of room in this room. 
Um, I don't see anything to mouse on here. What are we doing? Oh, well, here's an opening, apparently. That's something. Let's inspect it and see what there is to see. Okay. Why is this over here? I thought I kept it up there. Whatever. Uh, the tunnel seems to get thinner quite quickly. Okay, um... Oh, we're supposed to inspect the thing. I just ignored it because I figured it'd be like, oh, there's nothing here. But apparently we inspect it for some reason, which I am not aware of yet. Okay, yeah, this is a little hunting thing. Did it go this way? No, it did not. Did it go this way? I didn't even notice these rocks were searchable. I mean, it seems likely you probably went in that hole that we can't fit in, right? That seems like the most likely choice, but we'll find out. Did he come this way? Yes, it did. These are unrecognizable tracks that look just like every other track in the game. Okay. So have we got a trail leading in here? Ooh, different camera angle. Oh gosh, oh gosh. It is a vicious, whoa. That was a big Kevin. I'd forgotten about that. I wish you could fight Kevitz like that. Okay, well, we defeated him. We showed him who's boss, what a level 14 boss he was. Okay, let's get out of here. And now we gotta head on over to what I assume is the final opening that actually is related to this puzzle we have here. Could be wrong though. But let's go ahead and go inside and see. Okay, whoa, we got a lot of junk in here, don't we? What in the heck is this? Some sort of weird eagle person. I don't even know. I wish my disguise looked that good. This looks like a huge puzzle, though. Um, What do we have to click on here? I don't see anything. Dang it, I don't know what to do. Wait, I saw something for a second, I thought. Aha! Eagle lever, which I can't get to, can I? This stupid eagle's in the way. Yep, okay, well, let me just take this. Oh gosh, this is, this is a complicated one. Yeah, I'm not gonna try this by myself. Apparently, first of all, feels like I'm not running, but I am, it's just the camera so zoomed out, I guess. Yeah, first of all, we do need some of this, which I didn't even see on the way in. Okay, there's a map I need to look at, apparently. Okay, we need to put the seed somewhere, which is right down here right here this bird feeder odd bird seed okay or feed seed yes hooray oh oh why did i do that then oh i see okay then i'm guessing i want to go here right i think l1 is what they call this lever because it's the first one you pull lever one what is that gonna... Yeah, okay. So now... Pull L2, which is... Right here. Okay, let's get on up there. This is a nice puzzle, I think. If I had the time, I might do it properly, but I don't. But I probably wouldn't, because these puzzles are kind of boring. In my opinion, they just take too long because, you know, the thing is, it's it's an interesting puzzle, but having to run around and only being able to see part of it at a time just makes it boring, in my opinion. I'm not sure what that did. But if it's just like on a sheet of paper or something, you had to like find things. Sure, that's fine, but no. Okay, we pulled that lever. We need to put seed into a feeder that is way down... Here-ish, I think. No, it's down here. I believe it is right there, so... Oh, wow, that's bigger than I thought. But yes, I believe I've clicked in the right location. It is this one down here. Okay, take some feed. Yep, get on over here, buddy. And I'm guessing we need to go over there now. That would be my guess. Doesn't want to go over there, though. Can I not fit through there? No. Well, I'm guessing I'm going to need to do this one then, right? Although, I want that. I guess I want to do it from this side. 
I don't know. Maybe you can still squeeze through. Let me make sure that's what I'm supposed to do, though. Uh, past the east gate, but seed, but seed. Okay. Hooray, we did it. Now we can sneak around here. Can you imagine if this was a place where there could be more than one person and you all had to fight over how to do this? It'd be crazy. Okay, what's this lever gonna do here? Well, nothing visible, apparently. I'm not sure why this is here. Like, when would you ever want to do that? I have no clue. Oh, well. Um, let's see. Okay, we pulled the thing. Put that. L2. Right, L2 was... Which one was L2? All right, it was this one. Apparently, we have to reverse our decision here. Push up. You pulled it down, now we're pushing it back up. I didn't even notice that they were staying. I thought it was just like a lever that you pull and then it goes back. But apparently not. I don't know how that's really relevant, but it is. Okay, we need to put seed in a feeder that is right here, actually. So we're, we're getting it done. Okay. Yeah, fly across there. Woo! That looks structurally stable. Sure, it can hold that heavy rock. Okay, um... Dang, there's so many steps to this. I mean, that was F5. Right, okay. Pull F4, or L4, I mean. Which is the one that's over here, okay. Yep. Aha, Eagle Lever. Different from Eagle Lover. Okay, what did that do then? I don't know. I really wish it would show you what it was doing because that definitely would help, I guess. Okay, so that was four. We need to go back to two again, right? Which one's two? Two is the one way down here. Where, where am I relative to everything? I think it's this one down here in the corner. We're wanting to get this guy to move away, and then we'll probably put it in that one, right? Yeah, okay, I've got it now. Let's get on over here. Ching. We basically got it. It's weird, it shows what happens sometimes, and then other times it just doesn't. It's a very strange decision. I'm not quite sure what it's about, but okay, let's go ahead and do this. Hooray! Yep, okay, we're good. They went to a lot of effort to hide this entrance. It's ridiculous. Okay, but we've got the third and likely final feather. Well, fourth if you count the generic metal feather. It doesn't get to be a special specific metal. It's just generic. Okay, back through the doors we go. And I think it's probably going to be quest complete fairly soon, right? I mean, what's there going to be to do after we rescue the guy? I don't know. Let's hope so. Okay, Meldor, am I going to have to do something here? Or is it just going to let me through? Okay. Well, can we just use... Ah. And, aha! I don't know why I have to set it from the opposite side that time, but I did. That's kind of a stupid design, honestly. Like, why isn't one in the middle? Who knows? Okay. Uh, open door, right? Yep, thank you. And now, what in the heck is with all this crap? What's on the ground over here? Coins, it looks like? Yeah. Oh man, look at all the eagles. Eagles for days over there. Okay, walk past. Unlimited Eagles supplies. Okay, Nicholas. How are you getting on with your discoveries? What's this? A young hatchling? Oh no, I hope it doesn't think I'm its dinner. No, Nicholas, it's just me. Well, it's me. I'm just in disguise. You're sure? You're sure you're not going to eat me? This guy is a moron, apparently. I thought he was joking. No, of course not. You sent me to get you an eagle outfit, remember? So you could get out of this nest? Wow, that really is a very convincing disguise. Have you got one for me, too? Yes, I have one right here. Okay. 
Excellent. Now there is no way the eagle will be able to tell me from one of its own. Now you run off and I'll meet you back at the campsite. Okay, looks like we're done. Let's get past this giant eagle who is standing guard on an empty nest, apparently. And let's get on down to the campsite. Yeah, this is a pretty easy quest if you don't do the puzzles, obviously. But very good quest, I think. You know, I mean, overall, the rewards it gives aren't that amazing anymore. But the addition of the rabbit's foot was definitely a nice thing. Of course, nowadays, you can just buy it on the Grand Exchange, I believe. So not quite as useful. I don't know why there's a mini eagle out here. It's like, doesn't it realize this is a place for giant eagles only? He just doesn't get it. How do I get out of here? Is there a way to sneak down the rock slide? Oh, there it is. I completely ran past it and thought it was over here for some reason. Hey, look at that. We got some guy down here with a ferret. Another ferret. Another ferret. Oh my gosh, so many ferrets. Hello again, Nikolas. Ah, oh, hello again. Can I help you at all? You told me to meet you down here. Um, well, I was originally sent to find you because of a ferret. Can you help me? Can you get me one at all? I'll do better than that. I'll teach you how to capture one yourself. Uh, that sounds good to me, I guess. What do I do? Come with me and I'll show you. Ooh, fade to black. Oh, yeah. We are catching that ferret. Okay, so we baited the trap with meat. Now what? And now we wait quietly. But what if I don't like waiting for things? Did I mention we wait quietly? Shh, here comes something. Ooh, it's a ferret. He's considering it, and he's captured. Aha, there you go. One gift-wrapped ferret ready for delivery. Good thing we've got someone with his skills to capture this thing, because that was so complicated. I don't know how I could have figured that out myself, honestly. See, it's all just a matter of patience. Great, thanks. And I guess we go back now. They're only going to have one ferret. That's kind of animal cruelty, isn't it? Don't they like having friends, or do they not? I don't know. I know they're pl very playful, so I guess if you don't have one, then you got to play with it yourself, right? But it's a zoo animal, so I don't think the zookeepers are going to be in the cage playing with a ferret all day long. And I don't think having people look at it is very entertaining. So, who knows? It's going to be a very sad ferret. But maybe the other one will show up. I don't know. I feel like there was more than one in here. Talk to Charlie. Ah, hello again. Have you had any luck finding a clue as to Nikolaus's whereabouts yet? Yes, I have, actually. He'd been abducted by giant eagles, but I managed to rescue him. He's now gotten back to his hunting. Giant eagles? What a strange notion. Well, regardless, if you found him, can you tell him to hurry up with that ferret? Even better, I have a ferret right here for you. You do? Ah, yes, wonderful. I never doubted you for a second. That'll make an excellent addition to the zoo. Hooray! So we have two quest points, some hunter XP. We can now capture ferrets. We can now fly the eagles, which they don't even show you, which is kind of weird why they don't actually have you do that in the quest. And, of course, two treasure hunter keys. Oh, look at that. That was a task, apparently. It's kind of weird. I guess that quest was somewhat meant to be a tutorial for using box traps, I guess, or to make fun of how that guy's not actually that good. I have no idea what that cutscene was about. Would have much rather have him teach you how to use the eagles. Whatever. Ooh, Wicked Hood teleport tokens. Hooray, useless. Yeah, so that's it for this part of whatever thing. Fire. We are not going to get any further with that, but let's go ahead and get our clothes back to how they should be. And we were fighting Grotworms, right? Or did I finish that? Um, those left. Yeah, 25 Grotworms. So we'll probably do that in the next episode and hopefully get a better task because I don't like Grotworms. They're very boring, at least when you're at a low level and take more than two seconds to kill them. Yeah, kill them. Can't talk. Come on, give me... I just want the stupid lamp thing. That's all I want. Not the lamp thing, but the uh, the chest thing. That's why I'm doing this, because we're almost out of time. We got four seconds. 
Got zero seconds in one second. There, zero seconds. Oh, come on. Ah, there we go. Okay, magical chest. Oh, maple logs. Great. Well, anyway, this has been Kebab799. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to see more. Like this if you liked it. Comment if you have anything to say. And I will see you in the next episode.